Today, we're talking about Frieza and more specifically whether or not he should become a god of destruction. So, it's a big topic, I think. There's a wrong answer and a right answer. Um, in my eyes, at least, anyway. Uh, but what do you think? Do you think he should turn into a god of destruction? I think he was partially planned to be anyway. Um, hmm. I think he was set up to be from the get-go. Um, I think it's tricky. I think, like I said, I mean, I think... I think if he was, it wouldn't necessarily serve his purpose. I think... I think if you just made him do it, it would be Freezer. If you just said, yes, I'll do it, it would. It doesn't seem like Freezer. Mm. But if he said, yes, and then was all Freezer about it, that would be interesting because he would do it to get something out of it. Yeah. What we typically expect of Freezer. <laughs> um, yes, so he's, he's doing it for, for his own means. So mm. he does it to become stronger and to get something out of it. If do we if they just basically said, oh yes, he's he's gonna do as he's told now and he's gonna be a destroyer and that's it, then that wouldn't make sense to me. And I think that would be a wrong answer and you shouldn't do it. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what you mean by right and wrong answer. <laughs> yeah, because the way I was seeing it was like the god of destruction, like all of them, I guess, not just Beerus, but all of the gods of destructions aren't necessarily evil. Like, yes, they destroy things, but they are following rules and they're not destroying for no reason, and for most cases, at least, anyway. So, to have a god of destruction who is pure evil, like Frieza, would kind of go against things, and I feel like he would just start destroying everything just because he can, instead of like doing it for a purpose. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really think it would be a good idea for Frieza, although. It would be nice to see him wearing some different clothing, I guess. Just, <laughs> you know, something different, looking a bit different. Maybe even get a new transformation when he's got that, like, god key energy. Um, that would be cool as well. I could have him in a top bow and he had a nice transformation. But then again, you know, Beer, uh, Beerus and the rest of them, they don't really transform. So it doesn't mean Frieza would, necessarily. I, I kind of went down the rabbit hole a little bit and I was thinking about it and... I think he was kind of poten there is potential for him to have been set up to arguably have been a destroyer or have been considered to be a destroyer pre Saiyan saga. Hmm. If you think about it. Because I, I think mean I know what you're gonna say here, but go for it. So, I, I know. It's probably totally like there was never a thought about it, but it's kind of like a rabbit hole type thing. So Beerus gets he serves Beerus, yeah. Mm -hmm. and gets um, Frieza to blow up Planet Vegeta. Yeah. Yep. Why? Beerus is the destroyer. Yeah. If he's going to blow up the planet, he should be the one doing it. Yeah. So basically, Beerus is getting him to do the dirty work. There's no reason for him to be doing that. So obviously, Beerus recognizes Frieza have some form of power. Yeah. Yeah. So Beerus wouldn't be messing with people that he didn't really deemed to be some form of powerful mm. so kind of a i recognize you're pretty strong so obviously that means that weiss is well aware that this person is quite strong as well so from weiss's perspective he's like okay so beerus is no good this person is obviously quite strong mm. so i'm going to keep him in mind yeah yeah so he's obviously well aware and as he's got to know fraser he's more well aware of him um weiss obviously now knows fraser a lot better Weiss isn't stupid. He knows fine well that if he approached Freezer and said, look, I, I want you to be a destroyer, he knows Freezer's very deceitful and mm. would totally be trying to use him for his own means. However, again, as we've discussed previously in Weiss's intentions, Weiss doesn't care about anybody. He's he, he just doesn't get, like, he's not looking to make friends, really. No. He'll, he'll be pals with you, but his essence... He, he cares about what's higher up, okay? And basically, if he feels he can make a deal with Freezer to serve as a destroyer, and I think to basically say, okay, look, as long as you do what you need to do when I need you to do it, I will give you the power that you want. 
Mm. Okay. So we'll just a bargain, right? And I think Frieza potentially might be open to that, or at least think he can trick Reese into believing. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking because I, I had a few. As soon as you said it was kind of planned before I was saying, sorry, I knew where you were going with uh, yeah. Beerus asked Frieza to destroy uh, Planet Vegeta, and yeah, I understand that. Maybe they were thinking about him becoming a destroyer because they didn't really have anyone else in mind at the time. Um, but also, I feel like, like what you've just said, Frieza's more likely to go off on his own and try and trick Whis as soon as he's got the power or do something bad with it. And I feel like this could just be a kind of rehash of Zamasu at that point, almost. Like, he's trying to overtake everyone, he's going behind people's backs, um, he has the power that he needs, and yeah, it wouldn't work a second time round. With the Kais, I feel like they're not strong enough to be able to prevent Zamasu, which is why the whole arc happened. Um, but with a God of Destruction, and with all the angels involved, like Whis, I don't think Frieza could get away with it. He couldn't hide. He couldn't do anything with the power. You get like we would be able to take him down, no oh, problem. Yeah. Po- probably even if uh, Frieza did have God of Destruction powers. So I don't know. Frieza's either locked into kind of being a good guy if he accepts, because he would need to only obey Weiss's orders, or it's just not going to work. That's the only way I see it happening. Turn Frieza into a good guy by making him become a god of destruction, or oh, it's just not going to work. I can't I think, see that, man. I think that's the thing where we need to strike a deal, is the fact that basically, is in terms of basically, Weiss would say to him, look, you can literally, I can give you this power, and you can do what you want mm. with it, all right, except there will be times when I need you to do something. Mm. So, like, obviously, Beerus sleeps for years on end, yeah? Yeah. So in all that time, instead of sleeping... Whis can just let Frieza go do his own thing, but mm. there will be times when Whis will need Frieza to do something, and Whis can literally go to Frieza, look, I need you to do a thing, can you do a thing, right, go do your stuff, go conquer planets, I don't care. Um, and to be honest, I think Whis um, is of that mentality where he would quite happily let Frieza do that because that doesn't impact Whis in any, in the grand scheme of things, that has no impact on Whis or... Mm godhood in any way Who, whoever owns planets that doesn't impact the godhood at all Potentially. no way that would impact we we should shrug that off he doesn't care the godhood never got involved when Frieza did this when he was attacking namek and everything like that like why would they care now that's true like, as well yeah i mean there's, as far as i'm aware from what i've seen there's nothing to say they can't do that mm. uh, like literally they don't have to sleep. Freezer doesn't have to sleep for years on end. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess he did blow up two planets, technically, with Namek and Planet Vegeta. And yeah. he almost succeeded in blowing up the Earth if we didn't turn back time. Um, but he only did that just because of a favor, I guess, not because he yeah. needed to. So I guess he's kind of fine with Frieza also destroying Earth as well. Um, mm. So, yeah, it's an interesting one. I think... I don't know, if Frieza had the god powers, would he really be too interested in uh in overthrowing planets? Like everyone like already Frieza is known as this like planet overlord guy who just takes over. But if people also know he's now a god of destruction, no one's gonna be able to stop him as is. So it's either you join Frieza and you let him have your planet, or that's the end, <laughs> you know? There's no fighting back. He's well, almost he, too strong just to be a guy who takes over planets. I don't know. Is it I even worth his time? Yeah. I think we've established though through Fraser that he, he has a Napoleon complex. Like mm. he, people need to know. Like he's constantly rebuilding the Freezer force. He always has. Mm. Like in the Resurrection F film, he was like, What did he offer Fre- um, Vegeta to kill Goku? Supreme commander of the Freezer Force, even though there was literally just Freezer and Sobe, he was like, we will rebuild it. Yeah. Like, so Goku is about to die. There would have been no one to really challenge him for the most part, like, other than the godhood. 
Mm. So he didn't need to rebuild it. Everyone knew how powerful he was, but he still would have took, he, he could have took opponents by himself. Like he doesn't need the freezer force to do that. He doesn't need loads of minions to do that. Um, but he just has an opponent competency. He just he just wants to take over stuff for the sake of taking over stuff. So I think he'll always do it, no matter how strong he is. Mm. Um, and I think, I think yeah, I think he just used that power for the sake of using it. I think he just likes striking fear into people, and if he can, he will. I guess because, so. like you say, he's evil. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right, evil. right now, technically. He's being wished back to life at the end of the Tournament of Power. Um, he's doing something. Maybe he's rebuilding the Freezer Force. Maybe he's going off the train on his own. Uh, who knows? He's just alive and kicking right now, doing his own thing. So that'll be interesting to see what he does do. Um, I, don't, I don't think anything's been mentioned in the manga with Freezer. I think they've kind of went in a different direction and not really mentioned him. Um, from what I know anyway, without reading it. <laughs> I think that's what's happened. So, yeah, I wonder what Frieza is doing, because he will come back at some point, no matter what. Like, he's alive. They're not going to forget about him. And he's one of the strongest characters in the show anyway. So, maybe he'll come back with a new form as is. Maybe he doesn't even think he needs the God of Destruction power because he gets so powerful on his own training. Who knows? He did it very easily. He basically did. He can do a Gohan. He is literally the only other character that does a Gohan. Yeah. He, he does tiny bit of training and he just becomes ridiculous. Hmm. Like he, he, the amount of training he did to get the golden power, the golden freezer form, is the exact same as what Gohan did to get ultimate form. Yeah. In this minimal amount of time, he just focused really, really hard and unlocked it. Yeah. No, the car- pretty much no other character has done that, really. Wasn't it just one month of training with the Freezer Force, or three months? It was either one month or three yeah. months. It was that, uh, it was that, what'd you call him? That uh, grey bald guy, or whatever, as a punishment. You basically beat him up for a month or something, or a couple of mm. months. And literally, so all he did was batter the, absolutely batter some bloke for a couple <laughs> of months or something, yeah. and he became Golden Freezer. And then he couldn't hold it, so when he went back to hell, I think, he just concentrated mm. on keeping the key and managing the key, and then he could control it later for longer. So basically, concentration and beating somebody up for a little amount of time. Yes, I'm literally, like that is literally Gohan. <laughs> uh, basically, like sit with sit with Piccolo for a couple of days before the tournament of power. And you, <laughs> and you basically like good enough to go. Yeah, like imagine him actually train with Whis. It wouldn't take him long at all to power this up. This is what I mean. Yeah, like, so, Whis has already trained Goku to become Ultra Instinct and the Super Saiyan God transformation. And everything else, the blue for both him and Vegeta, just training constantly. I think Frieza would eclipse those timelines. He would soar past any transformation that both of those guys have done in record time. And, you know, if he was to become a God of Destruction, I don't even think it would take him long to achieve the form. And um, just because of his seemingly unlimited potential. Um, um, yeah, it's interesting. Overall, I still don't really think he should, though. I don't think it's it suits the story. Um, I, think, I think it would be interesting story if they didn't commit to him actually doing it. Mm. So if he did it as a way, as a, as a, to suit his own means type of thing and to be tricky freezer. Yeah. Yeah. I would be fine with that. I would have no issue with that. Um, as long as they did it right. Um, because everyone loves to see tricky freezer try and do things. It's, it's when freezes at his best. Mm. Um, exactly. Because, yeah. Um, and right. plus, we'd get the same of it stronger. We would get to see we would get to see a lot of him mm-hmm. in that way. Like we, we would we wouldn't be on the sidelines, and that we would see a lot of him all the time. Yeah. It would basically be back to when he was basically one of the main characters, like on Namek, mm-hmm. where he was pretty much in every episode. And and I would love that because right now this freezer we have right now in the tournament power it's is great. the freezer I'm really enjoying. Yeah, I'm enjoying the freak this current freezer. Um, he's great. He's funny. He's sharp. I uh, just I'm really enjoying him at the minute, and I would yeah. love to see more of that. Yeah, that's the thing, I guess, because like um, he was great in the tournament of power, and 
it was great to see him back and actually kind of helping out with Goku and everyone else in the team. Um, he wasn't the biggest team player, but he still helped, especially at the end. Um, but if he was to become a god of destruction and he was around more often just because Goku and Vegeta are also training with Whis, just the dynamic of Frieza constantly being around with Goku and Vegeta and not fighting kind of puts me off the idea. Because in my head, I see Frieza as the ultimate bad guy in Dragon Ball. He is the best villain in the show. He always has been from the very beginning, as soon as he was introduced. And every villain after him has never lived up to how good Frieza was. And to see him being all goody-goody with Goku and Vegeta, I don't want to see that. I want to see them fighting. I want to see Frieza do something different to try and under undermine Goku again and try and take him out. Same with Vegeta. I don't want to see them together and not fighting too much. It was fine for the Tournament of Power because it was different. But if they were to continue that without them fighting, I don't think I would like it too much. No, I don't I don't think I would want them all on the same planet training, stuff like that. What I think I would want to see is basically let's say you've got you've got Broly, um, Vegeta and um Goku training on Beerus's planet, and then Freezer turns up as well, and we basically says, "Right, I'm off." And they were like, "What?" Like they're obviously shocked. Freezer's there, and then we says, "I'm off," and basically he leaves, and they all feel quite betrayed because he's literally gone off purely to train Freezer, mm. and then they're basically like they have no idea. And Beerus is the one that breaks the news to them to say basically he's he's took over now, and so basically they end up meeting with him, and it's like they've got this whole betrayal thing where we just basically like. I never made any promises to you. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of shows that we, again, didn't have any, like it kind of, sh- it, it ends up showing of like the whole Weiss's intentions mm. that we talked about, that he didn't have any true promises. He he, he wasn't truly their friend. He, he serves the higher purpose. And then this is truth behind it. And, and basically, so yeah, then you do get the evil dynamic because Frieza doesn't have to be their friend then. So you still get that dynamic of him becoming the destroyer, but you get to see bad you get to see bad guy Frieza not have to be their friend at the same time. And so, it could also be a evil Weiss as well at that point, since he can just betray them and say, Yeah, you know what, Frieza's better. I want him. And then he just goes off and kind of Yeah. Yeah. He was he, he could literally just turn around and say, Look, it, it, I've wasted my time with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually disappointed that I've wasted my time when I mm. should have just been here. Um, I'm disappointed. On the other I'm hand, basically... you just brought up, brought up Broly there, who I forgot about, and I think he would be a better God of Destruction, which is a topic for another time. But mm-hmm. just because like he has that rage side and he's also a good guy, um, I could see him fit in that mold a bit better, just being able to listen to Whis and train properly. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I guess sticking on topic because I don't want to go into that right now. But um, yeah, Freezer, I like the potential of it, but I don't think it would be a good idea. I would rather see him separate um, and kind of not be in a God of Destruction. I don't think he needs it is where I'm getting that. I think the story would have to be done very, very well. Yeah. It. I think it would be very difficult to do, but mm. it has. But if they did it right, it could be very very good in my opinion if yeah they right. if they did it right it would need to be perfect though because i don't want to see a rehash of samasu with frieza just trying to go off on one and i don't want to see him become a good guy so they would yeah. need to get a very fine line that they would be walking along but maybe it's possible but overall i probably don't want to see it happen keep frieza as frieza keep him being an evil guy he doesn't need the powers just let him train that's all he needs i think let him go go on <laughs> yeah exactly let's see what happens um but i think that's enough for this segment so let's move on now to the hall of fame let's go cool. 